Mike, Los Angeles, you're next. Hi, Mike. Yes. Welcome. Hi, Leo. What can I do for you? Yeah, I have a laptop that's issued by my company. Uh huh. And can they, if I use my laptop, say, at Starbucks or a public Wi Fi or even at home, can they know what websites I go to or go on, I should say? It depends if they put software on there to monitor you or not. The problem is you may not know. Now, I'm sure that your company at some point gave you a piece of paper, or more likely multiple pieces of paper, with their acceptable Internet usage policy on it, and you signed it. Correct. <laughs> and at some point on there, it probably said something like, the company reserves the right to monitor any usage of this equipment. Okay. If it didn't, uh, it doesn't have to. The beauty of this for them, it doesn't have to because, weirdly enough, despite the fact that uh, courts have upheld privacy uh, regulations with regard to things like physical mail and phone calls, if you are, for instance, at work on the phone, the boss can listen in until it is obvious that it's a personal call and then he must hang up. Okay. However... Courts have consistently upheld the right of employers to do anything they want when you're on the company dime, when you're when you're using company equipment, and or on companies uh, the company's internet. So even if if you're not on the company's, certainly they can. When you're at work, they can do anything they want. But even when you're not, if that's a company laptop, they have the right to put software on there that monitors what you do and report back. I don't know if they did, and you could ask. They're not obl obliged to tell you, although it's in my opinion, when you have and you should have an acceptable use policy and the employee should sign it, it should also be ex clearly stated within there what we are doing. Are we monitoring your use? It should say that, but it doesn't have to. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back and read it. Uh, yes, I do. I would. Acceptable use. And, but otherwise, they have, they're under no obligation, if I understand you, um, no, no, under no obligation um, they can do whatever they want. Yeah. And and then the same thing if I use my email, say I'm at work and I go on Yahoo, they use my Yahoo email, will they, they theory would know that I'm emailing out? That's an excellent question because here you are on the company premises using, even if you use your computer with their internet and it was your personal email, the courts have said they can monitor that. They can read it. Oh, wow, even with my computer off. Even with your computer if you're on company premises. Now, if you're using your computer at an open Wi-Fi access spot somewhere else, they can't monitor that legally. Okay. And it's weird because they can't monitor landlines either if it's personal, but they are allowed to do that with digital technology, and that seems to be inconsistent, but that's just the way the laws shake out. Okay, so they can monitor, it sounds like, whether yours or theirs. Yeah. As long as it's on their work, then they can do yep. it anyway. If any of this is, is on company owned something, whether it's the Internet or the computer, there is no expectation of privacy. And, and while I think that that's wrong, the courts have upheld that time and time again because there have been lawsuits. And every time, every level of court has said, nope, that's legal. Wow. I know. Okay. Well, was so, my question. I thank you, and of course, I wait eagerly for the next iPhone, and that's about it. <laughs> Great. Good to talk to you. Thanks for calling. Uh, I think that, um, see, there, what's interesting is you have more expectation of privacy using physical mail than you do uh, email. But shouldn't, that, shouldn't those be the same? But because it's digital, there. well, I'll give you an interesting example. The courts have held that uh, email loses its privacy protections completely after, uh, is it three months or six months, after a period of time, that at that point, all expectation of privacy is gone, <laughs> regardless. And I think that's crazy, but it's because it's digital, and uh, legislators and lawmakers did not, and still do not in many cases, fully understand digital technology, and the, the, the laws just don't make any sense. Is it 18 months? Okay, but there's a some period of time with, you know, uh, goes by, then the email is just public domain. And that's been used uh, in cases like NSA spying and law enforcement spying to justify uh, a wholesale grab of your email without warrant.
They don't need a warrant because it's somehow it is no longer your private property after a period of time. That's crazy. <laughs> it's considered abandoned. <laughs> it's like you left your email under an overpass somewhere. <laughs> it's crazy.